Hey Pixies, welcome back to another Miniverse video. Today we're gonna be making the Mini Diner Series 3 edition. These are actually my first three of the Diner Series 3, so I kind of can't wait to see what we get. I really wanna get those ice creams, the taco, and the jello. So if we don't get them today, I'm probably gonna need to get more so that we can collect those ones. Let's start on the first surprise. And opening all of this packaging. I kind of wish they made these a bit easier to pull open, but we've got it. Okay, this one looks pretty full. Let's open this up and see what we get. So of course we need to put our table together. Stay fresh and it has leaves on it. Okay, interesting. So we've got, whoa, guys, there's actually a ton of packages with this one. Okay, so let's start with this one. Let's see what we get. Oh, what's this? Okay, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have croutons. We're definitely making salad. Next on the list, let's see. Oh, okay, so we have our tweezers and a fork. Now this one is, oh my gosh, cute. Okay, we have romaine salad. Is this gonna be the Caesar kit? I'm kind of hoping, Caesar's actually my favorite salad, so. Okay, so we have our little salad bowl. Next, let's see what's in this bag. Oh, this must, oh yep, we've got our Caesar dressing. And, okay, I wasn't sure if there was like a squeezy end, but yep, we've got our Caesar dressing. Let's set this one down over here. Next we have, this is, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have our grated cheese, so like Parmesan stinky cheese. All right, next we have our recipe kit. So we're making the Caesar salad. So we're gonna start by opening the romaine salad and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the lettuce leaves actually are multicolored, so it looks pretty realistic. There's like light and dark green leaves. So I'm probably gonna do a couple layers of this. I'm gonna start with the bottom layer. Like this, oh my gosh. Okay, we have a ton of lettuce. So we're probably not gonna need it all. So let's add our dressing, which is the resin, which will hold everything together. So, wow. Okay, the coloring on this definitely looks like dressing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add in a little plop. And let's mix it all together. You're gonna wanna make sure all of this lettuce is coated so that when we harden it, it does stick and none of it falls out. Okay, now we're just gonna add in our next layer with more resin or dressing. And I'm just making sure to add the lettuce first because if we add croutons underneath, I don't really wanna like waste any that you won't see. So we've got all of the lettuce. Now let's open the croutons. I can't wait to see what these look like. Fun fact, I always pick the croutons out of my salad. <laughs> Okay, let's place these on. I wanna make sure they're evenly dispersed, so I'm just using my tweezers to set them. And they definitely have crouton texture. Like, these look so real. And I'm just making sure they are, like, spread out all over. I do wanna have a bunch of them. You get a ton in this bag. All right, now let's take our Parmesan stinky cheese, the grated cheese, and sprinkle this all over the top. Again, I just wanna make sure that it's evenly placed and I don't wanna to put too much. I don't know if you could have too much cheese though. Now I'm gonna to try to make slight, like a slight frozen memory moment. So I'm gonna add in a little more of the dressing so that the fork will stick to it. Let's add in our fork with lettuce and crouton and then let's cure it. And here is our completed Caesar salad. I actually now want a salad, but okay guys. So now let's move on to the second surprise. Now let's open surprise number two. I kind of really want to get that hamburger, but let's get started by getting things open to see what we have. 
Okay, wait, hang on. This kind of looks like the one we just opened. Okay, let's hope we don't get a second salad. Okay, let's get the table together. And, no, okay, it's different. We have Bon Appetit. So let's put the placemat aside and let's see what's the first package. Okay, this is different. Hazelnut spread. Wait, do we, I don't remember seeing cakes. All right, what's the utensils? We have our tweezers. Oh, and we have a, not a spatula, a spreader. What is this called? All right, let's open the second package. Uh, feels kind of flat. What's in here? <gasps> berries. Okay, so we have some strawberries, some sliced berries. Cute, okay. Set this aside, next package. Again, this one's super flat too. Oh, okay, this is why. It's crepes. Some sun-baked sweets crepes. Those look so real. I'm, I'm hungry now. Okay, what's on the next package? Our plate, okay. So we're gonna be cooking up some crepes. I haven't had these in years. And the last package. Oh, what else are we missing for this? Oh, okay, we have banana slices. <gasps> Delicious, all right, and there's a bunch in here. So let's place our placemat and the plate. This is huge. Now we're gonna be making hazelnut crepes. And there's the recipe, so let's open up the crepes. Let's pull these out, oh my gosh, those look real. Wait, we have a bunch, wait. <gasps> it feels kind of rubbery. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could feel the texture of this. <gasps> okay, it's sticking to the plastic. Oh, this is so thin and rubbery. Okay, we're really gonna be able to work with this. So let's just get this peeled off. I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't like rip or get ruined. Wow, look at this. <laughs> That's so cool. So I'm actually gonna put this down like a bit of a taco, like I'm going to layer it and flap it over. So we're only gonna need half of the crepe. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the hazelnut spread. Oh, yum. Do not eat this, it's not edible. It's resin, but it definitely looks edible. All right, let's spread this on. I'm gonna try to make this like thick and goopy because I really want it to show through once we Flap the rest of the crepe over. So let's just spread this. I really want it to be to the forward. I'm not gonna put too much inside because you're not really gonna see it and it probably won't harden the best. So let's take the banana slices. I'm gonna do it like the picture. And I'm just gonna alternate like the banana and the strawberry slices. So let's take the strawberries and put them in the middle. Trying to make sure that you can still see like that hazelnut spread. I want it to look so goopy. I'm gonna take more of the spread and I'm gonna use this like glue and just put it on so that the crepe will stick. Let's fold it over like this and okay, let's harden the first part. First crepe is done. We're gonna be doing multiple layers, so you wanna make sure the bottom layer is completely hardened first because the more we add on, it's not gonna harden, so. <gasps> more spread, so this again, I'm just gonna use it to work like glue. Taking the second crepe. I can't get over the texture of this, so I'm obsessed. So I'm just gonna layer this the same, and I am gonna keep it the same as the first layer because I really wanna see the strawberries, bananas, and the spread, so I'm gonna make another layer of goopy spread. Like this, and it doesn't need to be perfect because honestly, I feel like it would be a bit messy if I made it too. So just putting a bunch on. All right, again, I'm just gonna go ahead and alternate and layer in the bananas and then strawberries. 
and more strawberries and I really want them to be to the forward so that you can see them once we flip the top over. Okay, and let's take and make sure they're evenly spaced. Yum. And again, just more spread so that we can kind of glue that crepe on so it doesn't move. And just push it down and cure it. All right, this one was actually easier than expected, but I'm not done. I wanna make sure to add more onto the top. So I'm gonna take more of the spread and I'm gonna make this super gloopy and goopy on the top. So I'm just gonna put a bunch on the top here. And just completely spread it around the top. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put like the bananas I think I'm gonna do like, yeah, I'm gonna do a line of the sliced bananas. So we'll put these ones over here. That is a ton of fruit. I want this. And trying to keep them all in a good order like this. Okay, strawberry time. So I'm just gonna do a layer of the strawberries. Again, I still want to see like the hazelnut spread underneath. And done. Let's go ahead and cure this. And there is the final hazelnut crepes. These look delicious. What do you guys think? Okay, what's this one going to be? Let's go ahead and get this opened. And let's pull this off. Oh wow, okay, this ball actually looks stuffed to the brim. Let's get the table together. I'm just gonna set this over here and our little placemat. Okay, so the first bag. Oh, ooh, okay, so it looks like we have some mint spread. And, ooh, okay, so a cake holder kind of looks like crystal. Cute. All right, now let's move on to the next one. <gasps> Spring, oh, we've got chocolate chips. There's a bunch in there. And four utensils. Okay, so we have our tweezers and we have a spreader. And in this one, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have whipped cream. Yum. And then the last bag we, oh my gosh, cake. Okay. So it looks like we have a checkerboard cake. Looks like chocolate and vanilla. <gasps> Wait, it even looks like there's a piece, yes. There's a piece cut out of the cake. So here's the recipe. We're making the mint checkered cake and how to make it. All right, so let's get started by taking the cake out of the package. <gasps> I love that there's a piece cut out of it. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing with this yet. <gasps> and you can even see the little checker print inside of the cake. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do Oh gosh, okay, so the resin, I don't think it's going to stick. So let's go ahead and grab our super glue. And I'm just gonna make sure that the cake is stuck on to the cake holder. And now let's take the mint spread. <gasps> okay, this looks yummy. So we have our icing. I'm gonna start by icing the side of the cake. Oh, it's... Definitely a glazy icing type of consistency. Like you can see definitely the pattern of the cake. It's pretty transparent. I might do like two layers of this, but I want it to be kind of like spread on so there's a nice little texture on it. Just trying to make sure that I get the whole sides finished and I'm probably, yeah, okay. So we're gonna do the top separately. So I'm just going to, again, make this super fluffy looking, even though it kind of looks like a glaze, it's just really transparent. 
Oh, I would love to taste this if it was real. And I'm just going ahead and adding a second layer now that the first layer is cured. Just to make it a little bit less transparent and more like icing looking. I'm going to take it all the way to the bottom of the cake. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the chocolate chips. This process took a while. I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of chocolate chips just like the recipe showed all along the bottom. And just making sure that there's probably like two layers of the chocolate chips on this side. Okay, done. Now let's grab our whipped cream. There's a ton in there, they're super tiny. And I'm just gonna add some of these whipped cream dollops on the top of the cake like this. Next, just making sure they're kind of like evenly spread out. Perfect. Okay, now let's grab our chocolate chips. And again, I'm following the recipe for this one and I'm just gonna add the chocolate chips into the middle area. Like this. And I'm gonna try to make sure they're on the inside of the whipped cream dollops. Oh, this looks delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now let's go ahead and ice our piece of cake. Let's do the sides. And again, we're also gonna need to make sure to add those chocolate chips along the bottom, like this. And I ran out, oops, okay. <laughs> let's harden this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ice the top and add the whipped cream. And here is the cake, completely hardened. I think this looks delicious with a mint icing. Like what? I wanna taste this. And I'm also going to grab our piece of cake, which matches, oh my gosh, it looks like it just been cut. So let's go ahead and super glue the bottom because I don't want this to fall off. I don't wanna lose this piece. And I'm just gonna place it on the stand like it's ready to grab and eat. Oh my gosh, delicious and complete. Here are all three recipes, our hazelnut crepes. We also created a Caesar salad, a little bit of a frozen moment. This one might be my favorite for some reason. And we also created our mint checkered cake. Which one is your favorite of the day and which ones do you guys wanna see me create next? 